In the last episode, I cycled from Canada into the USA, where I cycled down through Washington State. In this episode, I'm going to be continuing down through Oregon along the Pacific Coast. Don's got a rule that he, if ever sees a Dairy Queen after 10.30 in the morning, <laughs> we, he has to visit. Is that true? You got it. <laughs> That's why we're here. So this is what we get after a hard, hard morning. <laughs> Put it next to your head just for comparison of how big the ice cream is. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> we got ourselves a blizzard, a Dairy Queen blizzard. Don, like an absolute legend, <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> It's a trez both to a New York cheesecake. After I bought the uh, the burritos for lunch, so it's, it. it's all going well. I'm enjoying this, man. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> So day two, the Adam and Don show. Hey, you got it. <laughs> and we've, uh, we've got to Cape Lookout State Park in Oregon. We're paying to sleep again tonight. It's $8 each, which I think is pretty reasonable. Pretty actually. darn good price. Yeah, yeah, that's the hiker biker rate, which is pretty, com yeah, Oregon, that seems to be the price everywhere. So, yeah, can't, beat, can't beat that. So I thought I'd show you what a hiker biker site looks like in a state park. It's basically just a campsite. Oh. We've got a really pretty sunset over there, which is why I've got this beautiful orange glow on my face. <laughs> Tents are going to probably be a bit wet from yesterday, from last night. Yeah. So Don right now is going to be putting up wet tent or dry tent? No, it's wet. It's a wet one. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Earlier on, but I fell off my bike pretty hard and my shoulder's really stiff. So I think I'm going to get in that shower. And have a nice stretch. <laughs> Could have been much worse though. Let me show you this sunset. Good morning. I am no longer with Don or anybody else. I'm alone. Yesterday's tumble off the bike, I, I kind of glossed over it a little bit yesterday. But really bloody hurt. <laughs> so I was going downhill, really wet, and just slid hard. I scraped for ages. Um, I'll show you some of the damage. Yeah, that's pretty lucky that that's just my bike that got hit. My body's okay. My shoulder is pretty sore. I feel like I feel like I've played a big old game of rugby and I've just been beaten up a bit. Got a bit of a graze on my leg and my arm, but nothing crazy. So I said to Dom, I don't want to hold you. I want to take it easy for the next few days. So he's gone off ahead. I'm going to take it a little bit easier and just enjoy this.
Good morning. I think it's time to seize the day. Da -da -da -da. Nice. And dry. I was just cycling along and this guy just totaled his vehicle into here. I got really lucky. I was just stopped about five meters up the road. A bit longer, about 20 meters. I was just stopped 20 meters up the road making a sandwich. Just sat on the side of the road, well off the road. And this guy just came down this road. It's pretty bad. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I'm no longer alone. I've been alone for a while. But I picked up some company. There's lots of people on this Pacific Coast Highway. One of the people that's following me. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Aviator. Aviator, what's going on? <laughs> Aviator's uh, been commented on the YouTube channel for a while now. And we've met in real life by pure coincidence, which is crazy. So well, uh, Yeah, last night ran into Adam. He comes into the hiker biker site and I go, Adam! And he's looking at me like, who are you? I said, Aviator. I said, hey! <laughs> but, Really, he just wants to be a, a line infantryman because he's got a, uh, yeah, a big right? sack on his back. Oh yeah, don't put this on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the dummy way. Yeah, but hey, you know what? If you want a tour, go with what you got. And this is what I had. And in a couple of that. days, I'll have more and I won't be carrying this around, hopefully. Exactly that. There's some wise words, actually. Go with what you've got. We oft people will often talk about having to get all the best gear. Right. And if you've got a rucksack, you can do it, it might be a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> a little bit, a little uncomfortable. I just go slower. <laughs> <laughs> but you're traveling by bike. Yeah. You're living the dream. Hey, when I'm going downhill, all that extra weight's gotta help, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we've also got somebody else with us, which I'm just gonna say hello to. Eva. Hi. Hi. Where are you from, Eva? Uh, I'm from the Czech Republic. And where did you start and where are you hoping uh, to finish? I started in Washington, in Port Angeles, and I'm heading south, I'll see how far I can get. <laughs> That's rather vague, I like that. Yeah, we got Jen and Reed right behind us too. So I'm also joined by Reed and yeah. Jen. This is the second time we've met. We met with, with Don. Don is probably about 200 miles ahead of us now. Oh, yeah. Right guys, smashing it out. I am really enjoying this. Look at this view! <laughs> I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm alone Really enjoying today's ride, cycling with this group That's why I came to the Pacific Coast really, is to be able to enjoy cycling with other people. I've been cycling solo for quite a long time. So it's a real change. Seeing the aviator has been good. It's been nice to see someone that has watched my videos. And it's just really nice to see someone that's also starting their own journey. He's set off with not the perfect setup and he's just doing it. And that's what it's about. It's not using gear as an excuse not to cycle. You can always have the better gear. I could always have better gear, but ultimately getting on a bike and riding it is much more important. Oh, this sea view, just loving it. Last day in Oregon. Woohoo! California, here I come. That evening I arranged a warm showers host at the Oregon-California boundary. Our host Karen was unbelievably kind and generous. She cooked us some amazing food and she showed us some of the plants that she harvests legally in Oregon. So Karen has brought us to the only redwoods that can be found in Oregon State. Right Thank by you. my house. <laughs> so this is the most northern point of the redwoods and the next few days where me and Eva are going to be cycling south 
through the redwoods into California and we're going to see some big old trees. But this is quite unique that we get to see it in Oregon. Most yes. people don't think Oregon are redwoods. So that's quite cool. I'm waiting for an elk to run by. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs>